Well, Texas Governor Greg Abbott's administration has begun flying migrants to Chicago. The move is an escalation of the governor's efforts to send asylum seekers to sanctuary cities. Now, nobody denies the Texas border with Mexico is in crisis right now, but there is a growing body of evidence showing that new immigrants to our nation are remarkably important and productive once they are settled. George Mallet has been looking at a December report by the American Immigration Council and joins us now with some surprising numbers. George. Yeah, and you know, a lot of us get more than a little steamed by the many migrants crossing the border without going through the legal immigration process. But guess what? Once they're here, they aren't taking jobs away from anyone. Fact is, immigrants can take credit for recently keeping as many as 1,700 jobs in Michiana that would have otherwise been exported. That number comes from this surprising report released this month by the American Immigration Council. This fall, we showed you 10 cities on the streets of Chicago inhabited by asylum-seeking migrants. Scenes like this are troubling to Indiana's junior U.S. Senator Mike Braun, who says too many such immigrants are slipping into the United States. He blames illegal border crossings for criminal activity, a surge in fentanyl deaths, and a fatal car crash that claimed eight lives. I think it'll be in 2024 the biggest issue because you're going to have even more instances of all the carnage that's occurring humanitarian side safety side the whole discussion but a recently released report from the american immigration council paints a dramatically different picture the data in that report shows over 40 percent of the population growth in the south bend elkhart region in recent years is due to immigration the con contribution of immigrants uh, to the economy is greater than their share of the population. Ali Doles Lane is South Bend Mayor James Mueller's deputy chief of staff. She was involved in the creation of the South Bend Elkhart Regional Partnerships Welcoming Plan. Doles Lane points out that despite making up less than 7% of the regional population, immigrants make up over 9% of STEM workers and entrepreneurs. So on the one hand, you have immigrants actively contributing to the local economy through spending power, GDP, you know, participating in the workforce and labor force. Um, but on the other hand, um, you know, you have that population growth that's really important for the progression of, of the city and the region. The mayor's team steers clear of talking about the illegal border crossings resulting in overwhelmed sanctuary cities, including Chicago, but maintains we have a lot of unfilled manufacturing jobs in our region, viewing immigrants as a resource, not a crisis. The thing to note as well is that the immigrant population is generally younger, so they're generally in the working age. Um, and, you know, you have to think that they're contributing to taxes when they work, but they may not be able to reap the benefits of any kind of public uh, service the way that someone with, um, you know, who was born here can. Um, so they're contributing, but they're not necessarily gaining, you know, this idea that they're just freeloaders is, is, not, is just not true. And I need to point out these numbers we're quoting represent all immigrants, including those with advanced degrees from Ivy League schools. But again, immigrants, including those from Latin America, represent less than 7% of the population, but more than 9% of the workforce. We can legitimately get upset about what's happening on our southern border, but this report makes it very clear we aren't talking about freeloaders. We are talking about people who contribute to our workforce in a disproportionately large way. George Mallet on the immigration beat for us tonight. George, thank you very much.